Guess who's back? Back, back, back again, again, again. Stephanie's back. All right. I just want to say, first of all, my head is not getting big, but during conference I had like five people come up to me. It's not a lot, but I totally appreciate each and every one of, maybe, I don't know, five, whatever. But I totally appreciate all of you guys because it like, it makes me really happy to know that people I not really, like I don't really know are watching my videos and then I get to meet you guys that way. And so it was just kind of like a cool little experience for me. But anyway, so thank you to those people. I apologize that I haven't been posting videos this past month and a half because there was never any right time. I was busy with family, conference, um, church activities, like there was too much going on and today was the perfect morning to film my video. So as some of you may know, I can talk for hours and I just like telling my stories and so I thought that why don't I tell YouTube a story? I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story, but I want to share it on the internet. Let's start back to like two years ago, or about two years ago, let's just say, when my parents still lived in Vegas. So my sister and I, during Christmas time, went back home to visit our parents. And one night, my sister and I were just sitting at home doing nothing. And I saw Katy Perry tweeted that she's gonna go see Britney Spears' first show in Vegas at Planet Hollywood. I immediately told my sister to get up, get ready. And I literally had no cash on me. My car was low on gas. I literally had to use quarters to fill up my tank. Well, it got me like a gallon or two or whatever. And so I made it to the Strip, which is where Planet Hollywood is. Britney Spears signed a contract with Las Vegas, with Planet Hollywood to uh, perform there every day or every week or something like that for two years. So this was her first show at Planet Hollywood. Because Katy Perry was going there, I wanted like, I, I wanted to just like, I just wanted to go and try and see like maybe a miracle would happen or something like, I just wanted to go because I knew Katy Perry was gonna be there. We got there, my sister and I just standing there and I'm just like, wow, like, everyone gets to go see the concert and we're here broke with no money, with nothing. I see Britney Spears' parents getting interviewed. They're both wearing white, I believe, or just the mom. It was so cute and the dad was like in the wheelchair. Across the room, I thought, I don't know how I miss. So across the room, I thought I saw Katy Perry walking in. So I freaked out, I started crying, and I walked all the way to the other side, and I asked one of the security officers, and he probably thought I was like a freak, because when I was crying to her, I was asking him if Katy Perry just walked in here, and he claimed no. So to this day, I still don't know if I actually saw her or not, because my eyesight is really bad. So my sister and I um, were standing on the opposite side now than when we first came in, and I'm just like standing there like thinking and like praying to myself like when am I gonna how like how long am I gonna stay here until something happens like what should I do like where should I go when should I leave like when is it right to leave like I, I can't stay here all night you know people would come up to us hey do you guys want to take it oh I have one ticket or it, like it's a hundred dollars or whatever I'm like sorry like we're broke you know the thing is every time every time I think negative well, every time let's just judge I judge you judge we all judge but Every time it happens, like the person that I judged in my head either does something nice to me or says something nice to me, which kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't have judged them right away. But it's just kind of like, it just kind of happens, you know, like whatever. So I see this man, he is wearing like a red, like kind of, kind of looks like worn, like a, like an old t-shirt, just a red old t-shirt. And there's a hole in the back of his shirt and he was just wearing like blue jeans like he didn't care what he looked like he was just there he walked past by us and i just kind of thought to myself like why are you wearing like a red t-shirt or whatever like you know which was very wrong to do but it just i i think a lot like a lot goes through my head he walked past us and he walked back and he stops at my sister and i and he's like do you guys want two free tickets to the concert i was like what he was like free tickets i was like are you sure they're free he's like yes and he was like, I found my girlfriend and I had better seats. So I had these extra two tickets. And I started like freaking out. I was like, I, I, I like didn't know how to thank him enough. Like I like, oh my God, like literally, like I did not know what to do. Like this man just gave us two free tickets. And we hugged him and we thanked him. And like, it was just so surreal because you would never think that someone would do that. And it turned out that he was like, 
a baller, but he just, he was very humble about it. So it's like, I judged too quickly and he did like a big favor in return. I didn't even think for one second that I was gonna get into her concert and for free. It was crazy, like it's making me so happy right now. And this guy's name is Steve and he's from Connecticut. It's like, I will never forget Steve. Right before that happened, I was like praying and like hoping and thinking like, do I stay? Do I go? Is something did you happen? Like, what do I do? And then instantly, God just kind of like, well, here you go. God shows me a lot not to like judge instantly because whenever I do, something good back happens to me, which kind of seems funny, but like, I don't know. Our seats were like in the middle of like the room, like the hall, and it was perfect. Like we could see everything. I even brought my glasses. I grew up with Britney Spears, so I love her and she brings back so many good memories, but like I never in my life thought I'd be going to her concert on top of that for free. Oh, I forgot the best part. Because it was Britney Spears' first show at Planet Hollywood, there was like a VIP section filled with celebrities. Mario Lopez, Polly D, Katy Perry was there. I think I can't remember if Miley Cyrus was there and a whole bunch of other celebrities, I just can't remember them. And like, oh, Miley Cyrus too, yes. I for one was in the same like living space as Katy Perry and all these other celebrities and Britney Spears. After the concert, I'm like, Em, we have to find this guy. I need to thank him, I want a picture with him. In that big crowd, we found him again. And he took a picture of me and my sister with our like tickets. He took a picture with him and we met his girlfriend. It was just so crazy. Like I cannot believe. Steve from Connecticut, if you're ever watching this, this is me grown up and I want to thank you once again for making a dream come true. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm going to continue telling my stories from my life because it's what I love to do. And be sure to always be nice, be respectful, be kind, be giving, and most of all, love.